All right, if you've made it this far, congratulations because it's been a task for me. This is my second time doing this and uh, it's been a challenge to say the least. So um, the next step is we're going to use this metal banding and you can find this at an ag supply store usually. And uh, it's probably what about a, it may be a little, a little uh, wider than an inch. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do is put it on the inside of this uh, casing here. And you have to be extremely careful with this stuff because it will slap you upside the head if you're not careful. And uh, you want to be real careful with it. But what I've done is I've gone ahead and kind of bent this thing in shape and kind of got an estimated length on what it's going to take to go all the way around. Now, if you just get it close, that's probably okay. You don't have to be perfect with it. But um, I did mark mine here, and I just have some shears, and uh, they seem to cut it okay. It's, it's a little difficult. You got to really, you got to really get some hands and muscles involved here, in getting this stuff cut. So be real careful when you cut it, so it don't slap you. Uh, these will cut it. It's just, uh, it's just a challenge. Alright, so that is good. And uh, this is the fun part. This is where you have to be real careful. Uh, and it may be too long. If it does, I can just trim it off. But you want to slide this thing. And you'll notice too, I want to give you a pointer. I ran these wires. There's a hole here in the casing. And I ran them through here so that when I have this thing sitting on, you know, on the table that it doesn't chew your wires into. So just keep it sitting like that. And then try your best to get this rascal in there. If you just ease it in there. That's going to be your best bet because this thing will slap you if you're not careful. It might be best to pop it in there like so. And you just kind of get it in there as easy as you can. Alright, what I'm going to do is take it back out and bend it a little bit more so it's not as dangerous because it will hurt you. You don't want that. But you can see to increase the height of this thing probably about quarter to a half an inch so that's pretty good that's about what we want and as you can see nothing's ever easy <laughs> when you're dealing with this stuff so just be real careful because it'll hurt you not to mention all the little metal shims where I've tried getting the casing off that was task. I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit too long, but it may not be. Yeah, it's going to be just a tick too long. So you can just trim it. It's always better to cut a little long than too short. So I'm going to cut about a two or three inches off. You can eyeball it. See? <laughs> that was pretty close. Alright, here we go.
that rascal is just not wanting to bend. But it's going to have to. I'm still about a couple inches too long there. So I'm going to pop it back out here and trim it one more time. Those shears are pretty tough, man, to cut this stuff. Alright. Be real careful not to pinch your hand, man, because you will pinch it. And you'll be paying for it for a few days. So I'm going to slip, try to slide this in there just as easy as I can. Okay. And we do have a little bit of a gap there. And that's okay because I don't plan on using as many magnets as some people may use. So what I'm going to do is take these pliers here. Maybe not those. I'm going to use these. It's not going to work. See if I can find something that'll actually work. <laughs> These needle noses did the trick there. Just kind of push it back on tight as you can get it. Because you want this to be as even all the way around as you can get it. Probably help if you had a couple of clamps to put on the inside here. So when we epoxy, it'll hold it in place. Uh, but I don't have any clamps, of course. So uh, anyway, you can see kind of how this adds a little height there to the uh, to the casing. That's what we want. So I'm gonna add a little epoxy to it. And make sure it's in there nice and tight and then we'll uh, move on to the next step of adding the magnets in but uh, this is all for part two we'll move on to the next part uh, adding the magnets once this is uh, bonded and set up thanks for watching be sure to click subscribe to get updates directly in your inbox